All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick rundown of this. This is that frequency uh, scanning radio, the 5R inbound thing. So I'm gonna hold down. There it goes. It's going to uh, scan. Forgive the quality of the camera, guys. It is a I don't know. It was like a $40 camera back in the day, and it's still yeah, whatever. WRQK661 test. WRQK661 test. W, or WRQK661 clear. So it's getting through. So it's so clear. Okay, cool. So uh, we're good to go there. And, and don't worry about this transmission. The walls are pretty thick, and it's really not going to get out that far to be honest with you. Uh, I know my environment pretty well so probably a lot of RF in here now but anyway um, so that being said it does work and on 2 meter I tried this video and it uh, told my camera to go blankety blank so uh, I'm not going to try 2 meter on it <laughs> anything on 2 meter because that, that killed the camera and it uh, stopped stopped recording so that's interesting so to save it on here though so that's GMRS 19 hit that little green button there memory channel. And you can set a memory channel and save it which I'm not going to because it's, eh, it's already on the radio so let me get that off VFO channel mode yeah I got that 2 meter adventure channel on here as well as well as the 2 meter calling frequency and then you know uh, my repeater but anyway just thought I'd show you guys that and uh I'd like to clarify something right quick while I have your attention. Um, I do this just kind of as a side, just kind of something fun. Uh, I'm not like a YouTuber per se. Let's, I, I plan to put some cool stuff out there and record some cool stuff happening, but um, forgive me if I'm not putting things out like every other day or every week, you know what I mean? And once every little bit I can put something out, a few shorts here and there, whatever. I can probably do that, but... Um, if I'm if I'm doing something with radio, I'm going to probably make a video on it. Just like, hey, I, I figured something new out. Try this out. Or if I find a faster way to do something, or you know, programming wise or whatever, I'll I'll share that. It's it's only really if I do it. I'm not going to go out and buy a radio, then play with it, and then make videos on it. That's just uh, I get the money for that crap. So not going to. You know, I got my old GMRS radio out and uh, tried it. It worked just fine, as you saw. Let me set that over here. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty thrilled with this. This is a pretty sweet little radio. Uh, I must have a pretty good one, considering uh, I've seen some people having trouble with uh, a few a few things on it. I've dropped this several times already. Yes, I kept the screen protector on it. It's doing pretty good. Uh, I just love, or is it? I love this little feature here, the USB-C charger capability. Uh, I love that. Yeah, it's a little more bigger and bulkier. To me, it feels a little tougher than even this does. You know, a little bit thicker, just more meatier. Uh, Balfang's kind of. I feel like they're doing something right with this with the newer model here. Uh, I do believe they're going kind of in the right direction, and I, I would like to see a little bit tougher. You know, a little bit thicker, tougher plastic. I, I would. I'd be willing to pay the extra like 15 bucks if they were to do like better material and if they were to, you know, jack with the spurious emissions and all that these things do put out. No, I don't have all the fun stuff to measure all that because I don't have the cash to buy it all right now. But I uh, plan to, uh, I, know, I know people with some gear, so I'm going to actually probably key up on a few of these just to see where these things stand and see how bad they actually are. Um, but I do know that, you know, as far as, I live out in the middle of nowhere, so whatever. Um, it's kind of nice having these. These are useful, uh, if I was to ever have to use them. But yeah, I do love these little radios here. Not to mention, like I said earlier, this is kind of like, I did a short on this, but you know, just tap that little over orange button here. Radio! And, uh, you know, get the little FM radio. So that's pretty cool. I love that ability, which I know the other valve things can do it too. So I'm not getting too crazy. I just love that, you know, it's kind of a big meteor radio and it can do that too and still has all the same features. I like that. So anyway, um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits here. But I'm just letting you guys know too. You know, I'm not a YouTuber per se. I can do some some okay stuff, especially like you know instructional programming videos, like I did. You know, where I shared screen and showed you all of that. I can do that, so it's, it's not too big of a deal. Um, but if I'm not covering it, like if in my own personal ham radio journey, then you know I'm probably not gonna do much with it. But I'm also uh, my thing here not to get popular, not to get famous. You know what I mean? Just I don't care about fame or fortune for that matter. I just I just want to bring some eyes to the hobby that wouldn't wouldn't find it normally. So um, I'm gonna tilt this back up because you're looking at my chin. I'm sure uh, y'all are counting them. <laughs> but uh, there's two. Um, anyway, let's let's see uh, what I can do on that. You know, just trying to get some more eyes to the hobby, and I'm encouraging everyone out there if you're watching this, man. Just you know, bring it up in a conversation. You know, just be like, oh yeah, you yeah, know, radio, and uh, you know what? What you sometimes don't just wait for it to be mentioned. You know, people are like, I hey, I want some way of communicating with my kids. You know, across town, think about buying them a cell phone, and you'd be like, mm, you could. Get a GMRS license, you know, do a PL tone and have your own little frequency set aside on a memory channel. You know, buy a couple little bow things for it. You know what I mean? Man, I just noticed I have a big stripe down my camera. Lens. Wow, that's bad. Probably need to get a better camera if I'm going to be doing this. But anyway, um, y'all have a really good, that's uh, 12.36 a.m. now, so y'all have a really good day, I guess, if you're watching, they're probably watching this during the day. Uh, good whatever time it is. <laughs> And uh, I'll hopefully catch y'all later. I'm going to try to do something for Winter Field Day. Um, with my, I'll be filming it with a better camera, I promise. Uh, my iPhone, that'll do it. So, anyway, catch you later.